I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 269, my review of Star Trek Picard 2.4, all of which takes place in 2024 Los Angeles, which made for a lot of enjoyable interludes and interactions. Well, let's see. I guess my favorite, and there were many close contenders, is Picard and a much younger Guinan. This conversation, in which Picard eventually tells young Guinan his name, explains some of the comfort and familiarity she has with Picard in Star Trek The Next Generation when he and we were more than 30 years younger. And as you well know, if you're a listener of this podcast, I very much like time weaves like that. On the other side of the profundity, lighthearted spectrum, I thought Seven and Raffi in that car, with Seven driving and Raffi coaching, doing their best to get away from the police, was just hilarious. You can't beat the way the two made good their escape, Agnes beaming them out of the car. Good thing, by the way, that the car had to stop for the beaming to work, had the two been beamed out while Seven was driving. That would have left a car going a hundred miles or more per hour with no driver. Pretty dangerous. And speaking of Agnes, my least favorite part of this episode was Agnes and the Borg Queen. This was no one's fault. The Borg just creeped me out. And I'd almost rather not see what might happen to Agnes. I really like her. She's a great character. So here's to her not being assimilated or whatever nice word the Borg Queen might come up with. So the season is moving along quite well. You know, I'm still annoyed by the commercial breaks. I mean, to have to subscribe to a service and still get commercials, that just doesn't seem right. By the way, does Hulu do that also? I'm not sure. But it's a measure of how good Star Trek Picard is that I'm putting up with it. And I'll see you back here next week with my review of the next episode of Picard. And I hope you enjoyed that brief review of Picard 2.4. I will be back here next week with my review of the next episode of Picard. And very, very soon with a review of the new episode of The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. In the meantime, stay safe. Stay sound and do what you can to help those brave, heroic people of Ukraine fight off the Russian invasion. The Light on Light Through Podcast. AD. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. Paul Levinson spilled code about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.